Hey everybody, uh, out here in Dunedin, um, just wanted to uh, talk a little bit about uh, what we did today, which was uh, a pretty fun deal. We didn't know what the uh, results would be. Uh, we did some videoing of this Avalon 285, it's a 2085 CF. Uh, year was made was in 2012. It's got a 75 horsepower E-Tech uh, 2012 also. And um, we had went out and tested uh, the, a foil, a hydrofoil, using um, some tape uh, indicators on the sides of the hulls. And what we did was we used uh, green as what the static water line would be, uh, green electrical tape. And then we set up uh, three inches from that, a blue electrical tape, uh, three inches down further and then a red electrical tape underneath that. So there was about a six inch difference from the top tape of the static water line to what we hoped to have gotten through when we were on foil mode. Um, so what we did was we had a cameraman, Andre here, uh, helping us out today, his equipment on board. So we're, the boat was, the published weight on it, the actual, I should say the actual weight uh, measured at a truck stop is uh, 2,750 pounds, but in the weight mode that we were today with everything on here, we think we were probably at around 3250. So um, we call that wing load weight. And um, so we're probably traveling with a wing load weight of 32 to 3250 uh, pounds. So what we did was we just went out and did some upwind runs and some downwind runs, you know, upwind being into the wind and then downwind being with the wind, uh, runs out by um, Dunedin Causeway and also um, just south of uh, Honeymoon Island. So between Caladesi and ha Honeymoon Island in Florida. And uh, we're hoping the pictures represent uh, how beautiful it was because we had a great day. Um, and we had four cameras hooked up also. So um, you can't see them, but we basically took a two by four, split it in half uh, that was 12 foot long. We put half of that in the front of the boat being 12 feet long. long. Um, and then ha the other half in the back of the boat so that it represented a four foot overhang on either side of the boat. So um, we fixed it to the front, it fixed it to the back, and then we put um, a camera on the end of each one of them so that the views that we should see are from the starboard front looking at the hull, um, also the starboard rear looking at the uh, starboard pontoon, and then the port rear looking at the port pontoon aft and then the port forward, looking at the forward uh, part portion of the uh, port pontoon. And we just were using those for a relationship of what speed did to the foil and what the foil did to the boat, meaning how high out of the water we got. So um, we went out not knowing what the um, results would be. And when we actually see the videos of it, we'll, we'll know the results. Um, we can tell we're higher in the water. We can tell we're faster. Um, we can tell there's a much better ride. Um, and it's a much quieter ride. Not only better being um, just going through the water and not wet, but it's just a much quieter ride because you're moving less water. Um, so that happening, we were able to do all that. We also had a camera down the center of the hull, uh, GoPro, looking aft um, over the wing. And um, so we were recording that data also. We don't know what any of this looks like. We were in experiment mode. It's something we were really excited to do and uh, happened here in April. Water temperature was about 78, I'm sorry, 76 degrees today. Um, if that's any indication, we were in salt water. So uh, it's not a freshwater environment whereby we ran into some weeds and weeds are definitely um, not a friend of a, a foil. So we, we want to be forthright in telling everybody that, you know, if you got a, a high weed area, um, a foil is just going to be something that is, it, it still works. But when you get any kind of debris build up on a, on a wing, um, it's, it's, you just gotta stop, back up, and get going again. That's what we did. We ended up having to do that two times over the entire day. We probably recorded for, I'm thinking we did a recording session for about 50 minutes, maybe 45. Um, and we're just anxious to look at the data from that. So when we came up with this idea um, and purchased this boat, this boat had never been in the water before without a foil on it. And from that time to now, this is the fourth generation for foil or fourth prototype that has been on here. Um, and we've really dialed things in as to where it needed to be fore and aft in the boat, the center of gravity of the boat, and then also what kind of pitch control uh, plate 
and mechanism we needed to get that work done. So we've actually come in and designed uh, a system from it that we're going to be able to offer to the public. But uh, right now we can't, uh, we just can't get into the mode of talking about what it is that's making this thing do what it does. And what it's doing right now from the data we're getting is we're, we're getting data that's between 30 and 38% better in um, speed, okay, and, and, and uh, wide open throttle speed. And we're also getting data that is giving us between 30 and 40% fuel savings. And as we mentioned, there, there's obviously the better ride and also a quieter ride. So the better ride is meaning that in choppy conditions whereby pontoons, when they hit a wave or they get in that certain condition, they're low enough to where the waves are actually catching the underbody of the boat. Um, we don't see that uh, in a standard condition. Uh, just because we're somewhere between three to six inches higher, we're gonna find that out when we look at the videos, that's the proof. Um, but we know we're higher, we just don't know how much. Um, also, uh, some of the things uh, as far as the better ride is, is that when we get up that much more in the air, think about something, the, there's, there's more air under the boat, okay? So you get this ground effect of air compressing between the hulls and you're actually getting lift from that. So the higher you get, the higher you get, so to speak. Um, so what we did to today's um, experiment was we're in full cruise mode, in case anybody's wondering, and, and um, we're gonna document that a, a, a little bit later today. But right now there's a bimini over me, as you can tell, I'm in shade. Uh, so we had a full bimini for everything. We had coolers in the boat, we, got, we have the wood in the boat, we have the photograph equipment, we have Two, uh, two guys that are over 175 pounds. Um, we have uh, five-eighths of the tank of fuel uh, that's been documented and um, anchors and just standard gear that keeps us in, in safety and legal mode for the U.S. Coast Guard. So we're not stripped out, so you're not getting some sort of numbers that are not real. Uh, we're, we're gonna talk in real world numbers to everybody so that there's no uh, uh, salesmanship here. Um, and let's see, other than that, you know, just look at, uh, look at the uh, videos that uh, Sam's going to, uh, Andre's going to compile and see what, uh, see what this thing can do. And then if it's something that you guys uh, want, you can come look us up. We're going to be, uh, have, we're going to announce our website here. We got two of them uh, that are being purchased uh, this evening. And then once we get those websites, we'll be really excited to announce them to everybody. So um, anything that anybody thinks we need to add? Oh, we run it, we're running on the uh, um, 75 horsepower E-Tech 2012. We were running a four blade prop, if I hadn't mentioned that. And this four blade prop has got us a little bit under where we would like to be in RPMs. Um, so we're anxious to also put back the old hydrus prop if you're familiar with pontoon boats there's a three blade hydrus that they put out um, that's going to get us up higher in the rpms we don't know what it's going to do to the speed but we're going to get that on there and hopefully do some of the film to data on that we have actual excel spreadsheet data uh, that's going to be offered from the hydrus but we didn't have it on the boat today so um, that's the only thing i think we forgot so have a good day, everybody, and thanks for giving us a chance to uh, give, give you an introduction to what, what's going on in, uh, in, the, in the world of hydrofoils for pontoon boats. Thank you very much, Mike Abel.